Hey Jack, what are we gonna draw today? A zombie. Yeah, we're gonna draw the zombie emoji specifically from Facebook. Yeah. I like the one from the iPhone and also Google, but the one from Facebook is so much cooler. So <laughs> we're gonna do that one. They're all really cool, so we'll have to draw the other ones too. Yeah. But in this one, we're gonna draw the Facebook zombie emoji. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need something to draw with. A marker, some paper, and something to color with. Yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's first start by drawing our zombie's face. We're gonna draw the eyes first, and we're just gonna draw kind of some weird shapes. And they don't have to look exactly like mine, but I'm gonna draw kind of a little droopy on the left side. <laughs> this is the left eye. So it's kind of a circle or an egg shape with a little point down at the bottom. And I drew it a little off to the right so that we have room for the hand. Yeah, you did it. Now we're gonna draw the other eye and it's bigger. So we're gonna draw it kind of close to the first one. We're gonna draw, now I'm just gonna draw a circle. Yeah. Now these are the eyelids, so let's draw the actual eyes inside. We'll start on the left side. We're going to draw a curve up at the top. And then we're going to draw a curve down at the bottom. Now we're going to draw the right eye. We're going to draw a U shape that comes up and back down inside of that circle. Then we're going to draw a curve to connect the bottom of that upside down U. There's his eye, all right, or both of his eyes. We're gonna draw his nose next. We'll just draw a U shape. Then we're gonna draw his mouth. We're gonna draw a curve, frowny face for the top of his mouth. Then we're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes down on the left and also a diagonal line on the right side that matches it. The zombie is so cool. Then we're gonna connect those two bottom lines. Kind of a funny shape. His jaw looks like it's dislocated. <laughs> now we're gonna draw the teeth inside. We're first gonna draw one right in the middle. We're gonna draw an upside down U. And then the left side's a little longer than the right side. And then we'll draw a diagonal line to connect the bottom. Then we're gonna draw another upside down U on the right side. This, both of the sides can be longer and then just connect it straight across. Then the tooth on the left will kind of do the same thing. Upside down U, and then just connect it straight across. All right, now let's draw the bottom teeth. We'll draw the, a big tooth on the left, upside down U shape, and then straight across on the bottom. And then we'll draw a smaller upside down U next to it, straight across to connect the bottom. <laughs> and then we're gonna draw one more Little U shape at the very end and connect the bottom. <laughs> he looks awesome, Jack. Now let's draw the bottom line for his jaw. We'll start over here on the left side. We're gonna draw a big U shape that comes under his mouth and then it's gonna come back up on the other side. Now we're gonna draw the top of his head. We're gonna draw a curve that comes out underneath his eye. And we're gonna do the same thing on the right side. We'll draw another curve that comes out over here also. All right, now we're gonna draw the top of his head. We'll start over here. We're gonna come up, and then we're gonna start drawing the top of his head coming to the left, but we're gonna stop because there's some flesh torn away and his skull is showing. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna, it's really gross. We're gonna draw another curve coming up on the left side, and then this is where the tear is. So we're gonna draw, a, kind of a U shape that comes over his eye. Then we could draw a zigzag down, back up. We'll draw another zigzag over and then connect up to the top. Cool, now let's draw the skull inside of the flesh. Just a big curve. <laughs> now he's got this big giant ear on the right side. We're gonna just draw a backward C shape. We're gonna curve around like this and then right at the end, curve up into his cheek. Next, let's draw his neck. We're gonna draw two lines, one that curves out to the left and one that curves out to the right. Then we could draw a shirt. We're gonna draw a little line that comes down, then draw a W. The letter W looks like a bite out of his shirt. And then we're gonna draw another curve that comes up to the right side of the neck. There's the, his neckline. Then we're gonna draw a shoulder on the right side. 
All right, now let's, we're gonna draw this line coming down a little further, and then we're gonna draw a bump that comes out even longer. Yeah, there you go. Now let's draw his shirt. We're gonna draw a U, upside down U shape right here. This is his sleeve. Then we're gonna come up for another U shape. Then we're gonna draw, oh, watch this, this is gonna be cool. It's gonna look like the McDonald's arches. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to put it. <laughs> Looks like a curvy M. <laughs> now we should be a little past his shoulder over here. So let's jump up to the top and we'll draw his, a big curve for his left shoulder. Kind of like the right side. Then we're gonna draw a line that comes out like this. And then this is the start of his arm, but let's come back and we'll draw the rest of his shirt. So we'll draw this curve first. Kind of looks like a backward C. If we ever go too fast and our friends need more time to finish a step, what can they do? Pause the video. Yeah, remember you can always pause the video if you need more time. All right, let's keep going. All right. Okay. Now there's a little tear in his shirt. We'll draw an upside down or a U shape. Keep saying upside down for most of them, but this one's just a regular U shape. And then we're gonna draw his shirt coming back. Yeah, and then we're gonna come down with two little bumps. It's a wrinkly shirt. <laughs> and then we're gonna connect this into that little uh, line from the McDonald's M, <laughs> McDonald's arches. And then in the shirt, let's draw a little hole right there in the bottom. Perfect. Then we're gonna finish his ribs. So these two little bumps or the start of his ribs. So we're gonna start right here and we're gonna draw two more bumps coming down further. Yeah. Then we're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes down. Now we're gonna jump over to the right side of his shirt. See this little part coming down for his sleeve? We're gonna draw a diagonal line coming down from the left side. Yeah. And then this line over here is the rest of his arm. So I'm gonna extend it down further like that. So it comes in and then down. There we go, now we have his right arms done and we have the start of his ribs over here. Let's finish off the bottom right here. We'll connect these two lines for his body and then also the two lines for his arm. Then let's draw a couple lines to finish his ribs. We're gonna draw a curve that starts from the bottom, comes down like that. Starts from the bottom of the first rib, yeah. Then we're gonna draw another one for the top of that rib and we're gonna imagine it going behind the t-shirt and then coming down further. Cool, then let's draw another one right above that. Yeah, you're doing it. So I imagine that going through the t-shirt and coming down and connecting. Now we're gonna leave it just like this because the right side is actually mostly black. So there's just some highlights on the ribs. Let's come up here and finish his arm. So right here, it's gonna bend up. So we're gonna do a little line that bends up, and then we're gonna draw another line that comes up further, close to his head. And he's kind of reaching out with these really cool hands. So now let's draw the other side of his arm. We're gonna start, we're gonna leave a little space, and we're gonna come down further like this, and right at the end, where his elbow is, we're gonna come out even more. Then curve back under. Then there's a little diagonal line up and then we'll connect it into his shirt. Cool, all right, now right here on his arm, this is split because it looks like bones. So we're gonna draw a short little line at the top of his elbow and then we're gonna draw an upside down V. We'll go up and then back down. <laughs> He's looking awesome. There you go. Now let's draw his thumb. We're gonna come out towards his head, get really close to touching, and then we're gonna come back. It looks like a sideways V. Then we'll draw another curve down for the rest of his thumb. Short line in, or out, I mean. Short line out towards the outside of our paper. Then we'll draw a little bump. This is gonna be for his first finger, and it's actually missing. It's got a bone sticking out. So we're gonna come up. Now the end of this finger is actually missing. He just has a little bone. So we're gonna draw a sideways V, small little sideways V. Then we're gonna draw it further over 
and then we're going to come down for the rest of the finger. Next, let's draw the little bone that's sticking out of his finger. We'll draw two lines, two short lines coming out, and then we're going to draw two little bumps for the end of his the bone. <laughs> Alright, let's draw the rest of the fingers. We're going to draw a big curve that comes up and out. And I'm also going to hook it, hook and come back down. Then we're going to draw the finger coming back in. Then we're going to draw another finger coming up. And th this one has a little corner on it and then we'll curve down. Alright, let's curve back into the hand. And we're going to draw another little finger sticking out and we'll curve right at the end and we'll curve back up and then we're going to curve into the hand and then connect it down to his wrist. That was kind of tricky, but you did it, man. That turned out awesome. So I know we went really fast on that part, but remember you guys can pause the video and they really are just three more fingers after this one where they're just curved V's. They curve out and then curve back in. Curve out, back in. We did it, Jack. We finished drawing our zombie. I'm gonna turn mine into the girl version while we're coloring. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause the video to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah! All right. Great job on coloring your zombie, man. It turned out perfect. It looks so much better colored in, don't you think? Yeah. I hope our art friends are gonna color their drawings also. This is probably my new favorite zombie lesson. Well, that one and the hand coming out of the ground. <laughs> yeah, I like that one too. <laughs> I also changed mine into the girl version, which you just add black hair that comes down on the side, starts up here at the top but it's pretty much exactly the same besides that. Yeah. Oh, and the purple shirt. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your zombie. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.